Hello everyone. Uh, in this episode, we are going to um, analyze Ghazal 18, that is Sonnet 18 from Divane Shams Tabrizi. Let us first read the poem in Persian uh, to see its rhythm, and then we are going to analyze it line by line. ای یوسف خوشنام ما خوش می روی بر بام ما این نافتحنا از سلا باز آز بام از در درا ای بحر پرمرجان من و لح سبق شد جان من این جان سرگردان من از گردش این آسیا ای سار بام با قافله مگذر مروز این مرحله اشتر به خوابان این حله نز بحر من بحر خدا نینی نی برو مجنون برو خوش در میان خون برو از چون مگو بی چون برو زیرا که جان را نیست جا گر قالبت در خاک شد جان تو بر افلاک شد گر خرقه تو چاک شد جان تو را نبود فنا از سر دل بیرون نی بن مای رو کاینه ای چون عشق را صرفت نی پیش تو آید فتنه ها گویی مرا چون می روی گستاخ و افسون می روی بنگر که در خون می روی آخر نگویی تا کجا گفتم که زاتش های دل بر روی مفرش های دل می غلط در سودای دل تا بحر یف المایش ها هر دم رسولی می رسد جان را گریبان می کشد بر دل خیالی می دود یعنی به اصل خود بیا دل از جهان رنگ و بو گشته گریزان سو به سو نعر زنان کان اصل کو جامع دران اندر وفا Now, let's go line by line and analyze this beautiful poem. As you remember from our previous episode, uh, the commentary that we rely on is that of uh, Karim Zamani. It's a fairly new commentary, but an excellent one. It was written something like three, four years ago. Uh, but he's an expert in the field, an excellent source if you can um, read Persian. I totally recommend it. So uh, the first line of this uh, beautiful poem said, A Yusuf Khoshnam Imam, Khosh Mirabi Barbam Imam. اِنَّا فَتَحْنَا اَسَّلَا بَازَا زِبَام از در درا Yusuf is uh, the Arabic word for Prophet Joseph and as you know he was known for his um, facial beauty so he is calling God with the name Yusuf um, that is saying O oh, you the beautiful first part is this a Yusuf a Khoshnam Imam a literal uh, summarized translation of this line would be O oh, you the Joseph you're passing over the roof come down and pass through the door but what does this mean what Rumi is saying here is this O oh, you the beautiful you're passing nicely over the roof here by the roof the commentator says that he is uh, referring to the absolute essence which is absolutely transcendent over all categories, over everything. So unless God remains in, in that transcendental position, we're not going to be able to know him. So he is kind of begging God to manifest himself through his names, through his qualities, so that we can use our faculties, our senses to be able to perceive you. Here he's using two Arabic words, um, which refers to a Quranic verse. So the words are inna fatahna, which refers to the Quranic verse inna fatahna laka fatham mubina. That is, indeed, we granted you, I'm just giving you a rough translation, uh, indeed, we granted you a manifest victory. So uh, commentators, Quranic commentators, um, have been disputing about what this line refers to. Mostly they say it refers to the prophetic wars, uh, I don't know, one in Mecca or in, in other places. But uh, mystics say, no, this, this victory, this opening is not related to the wars, but related to the opening of the heart of the Prophet of Islam. So with this reading, um, Rumi is saying, begging God, God, please come down from the level of absolute transcendence. Manifest yourself through your names and qualities. Our hearts are opened up and ready for that manifestation show your beauty to us we cannot perceive your beauty in your 
transcendental essence. Let's see what the other lines are saying. A bahr pur marjan man, walla sabuk shud jan man, in jan sar gardan man az gardesh in Asia. Like I said, I'm not translating these lines word for word. We are going meaning based, and I'm, I'm just dealing with the philosophical aspects of these poems. I'm not getting into literature accurate translations. He is again referring to God, calling upon God, uh, saying, You are a sea full of pearls. My heart is light. Light opposite of heavy light. In John Sargardaneman as Gardashi in Asia. That is, this heart is light now. This wanderer heart, he says in the next part, um, from the happenings in this world. Rumi, as we said uh, in Persian, they call him Molana. In Turkish, they refer to him as Mevlana, what the accurate, accurate pronunciation is Maulana. In Arabic, I, I suppose it is Maulana. In any case, uh, Molana with Persian uh, pronunciation is uh, telling God, um, my heart is light now. Which means that I have cleared my heart, I have cleansed my heart of the impurities in this world. Whatever that those impurities are, moral, religious, divine law, what you have, I have cleansed my heart. It is ready for your manifestations, for that divine light to open up in my heart. And this has happened, he says, um, this, this, this preparedness has happened uh, through all the ups and downs that has happened to me in my life in this world. In the next line we have, Ey sariban, ba ghafile magzar, marozi marhale, oshtor be khaban, hin hale, naz bahre man, bahre khoda. So in Persian, the leader of a group of camels is called Sariban, that is a person who leads them. Sariban basically is uh, kind of the epitome of uh, leadership in Persian poetic language, that's why he's using this word. So he says, hey, Sariban, oh you the leader, um, don't pass through this level, don't pass through this stage with this group. Hold your camels, if you will, if you will, is not in the poem. Uh, not because of me, but because of God. So in this line, we had, uh, don't pass through this stage. What is this stage? Uh, this stage of this world. He's referring to this stage of human perfection. So in Islamic metaphysics, a human is on a journey towards God. But this world is just one stage. So he's saying, in this world, slow it down a little bit. Uh, oh, you the leader of all the happenings in the world the chain of the happenings in the world don't pass through this level don't pass through this stage so rumi is complaining of uh, the speed of the change of all the happenings happening in this world so he's asking the world to slow it down a little bit but in the next line he's gonna uh, take it back he's going um, he's saying the opposite of what he just said he's basically playing on words He's saying, Ni ni boro majnum boro, khosh dar miyane khum boro, as chum magu bi chum boro, zira ke jan ra nist cha. No, no, go wildly, go through the blood, but don't ask why and how, because uh, the soul is not in his pace. Uh, so, in the previous line, he said uh, to the world, stay still, you're moving too fast. Then he tells himself, well, Stillness is destruction, so there should be motion to reach the beloved, to reach the destination. And um, just remembering this, he gets excited. He says, uh, no, no, don't stay still. Go and go wildly, move wildly. Uh, go through the blood. And by go through the blood, he is uh, basically referring to the difficulties, the challenges of, on, on this path. And, but uh, he says, don't ask so much about the how and why of this path. The soul is incorporeal and spaceless. And as he is opening this up for the next line where he says, He says, don't worry if you die. Don't worry if you're the, the, the dirt mold, which is in reference to Quran where God says we have created you from dirt. 
So where the dirt mold, if it breaks, uh, your soul has no end. It doesn't cease to exist. So let go of your body. If the death comes, don't worry about it. It will continue to exist. از سر دل بیرون نی به مای رو کاینه ای چون عشق را سر فتنه ای پیش تو آیت فتنه ها This is a very interesting line. Here Maulana Rumi turns to God, turns to his beloved and says, You are not a stranger to the secret of my heart. You are, just show me your face. You are a mirror. Uh, what he's saying is, uh, my reality is a mystery. It's a mysterious reality. And you are a mirror on which I will be contemplating my reality. So show me your face. Be that mirror on which I watch myself. I watch my, uh, my reality. And you are the source from which uh, all the loves come from and all the riots come from. Next we have Guyi mara chum miravi, kustahu afsum miravi, bengar kedar khum miravi, ahar na guyi ta kuja. So here he's creating a dialogue in which God is uh, referencing uh, Rumi, saying, Guyi mara, you're telling me, chum miravi, how are you going? Kustahu afsum miravi, that is, you're going so recklessly in this path. So there is this journey that the mystic, that the wayfarer is moving towards the beloved. But it's a dangerous road, he, he said in the, in the previous lines. God is warning me, like you're moving too recklessly. Look, you're moving through um, the blood, that is, you're moving through the challenges. Are you not asking me, God, Rumi, are you not asking me to what end will this journey be? This is a very interesting line. It fits well with the Islamic tradition. For example, in the Quran, we have uh, chapter 2, verses 155 and 156. Uh, God says, um, we test you, humans, um, with illness, with fear, with financial losses, the, the loss of your soul, that is the death of the beloved people. Uh, give glad tidings to those uh, who say, who are patient, and who say we are from God and to him, unto him we will return. Um, so what the picture in these two verses is this, um, the, 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 in the world there will be challenges. You will be tested with challenges. Everyone can get an AA in an easy class, in an easy course. Take a difficult course and see if you can get an AA on this course. Uh, if you want to get closer to God, you will be tested with difficulties. And uh, what Rumi is saying is this. Basically, he says, look, um, the, the, the path towards the beloved is a challenging, dangerous task uh, to accomplish. It's a challenging path. You're going to have to go through dangers and difficulties. So even God himself says in this line and in the Quranic, verses that I just recited. You're going to be put into difficulties and you're going to have to show yourself in those difficulties. You, you are in love. You want to move to him. So you're going to take whatever comes in. No questions asked. And Rumi answers God. Rumi answers, uh, I, I will move. Uh, through the flaming rugs, the flaming carpets in my heart. That is, I will pass through whatever difficulty you put me through. And um, I will not complain. Uh, from this, that last part, um, whatever you want, I will be content with that. I will not complain. You are the beloved. I'm in love with you. No questions asked, whatever difficulty there is, I will pass through these challenges. هر دم رسولی می رسد جان را گریبان می کشد بر دل خیالی می دود یعنی به اصل خود بیا and every moment there is a messenger holding you calling you upon your imagination that got your origin and uh, another interesting line we have here so he's saying uh, if you listen carefully within you there are voices calling you to calling you back to your origin don't be stuck in this world he says 
this is not the uh, origin. This is not the final destination. This is just a stage. This is just a step you're going to have to take to move um, towards your final destination, towards uh, uniting uh, with the beloved. And uh, in this path, if you listen carefully, there are voices calling upon you. So you're going to have to open your ears and be careful and watch out for these messages. Next, we have Del az jahan rang bu gasht gorizan su be su na'r zanan kan asl ku jam daran andar wafa del dar jahan rang bu that is in the heart in the world of color and smell that is in the world of sensation the heart is just going from one place to another wildly and and, and screamingly he says um where is my origin? He so the, the heart, your soul moves around asking for his origin, asking for her origin. And the soul rips his clothes off in this path. That is, uh, the soul moves uh, wildly. When you hear the voices within you calling upon you to find your origin, to go back to your origin, if you hear those voices um, and if you realize that the world, this essential world, is not your final destination, an excitement will come to you. And you will move wildly through all the dangers, through all the difficulties towards the beloved, towards towards the source of that voice. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was one of my favorite uh, poems in Divan Shamsa Tabrizi. If you liked the video, please uh, like and share to help the channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to being with you in the next episode. Be well. See you soon.